Having made his debut for Celtic's under-20 development team at the age of just 13, Karamoko Dembele is a player that's been on a lot of people's radars for a good number of years now, despite the fact that he's still only 17 years old. He signed his first professional contract at the age of 15, tore hearts apart on his senior debut back in May 2019, and even collected a Scottish Premiership winner's medal in the process as the club secured the title on that day. Despite his impressive start, however, he hasn't really featured for the club much since, and as he's out of contract at the end of the season, it looks like he could now be on his way out of Scotland in the summer. Today we're going to be using FIFA 21 career mode to predict his future, we'll take control of Celtic, release him after the very first season and we'll then follow his career and see where he goes. If you want to see more of these videos then please do leave a like to let me know that you're keen to see more, stick around and subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos and if there are any players in particular that you'd like to see me cover then be sure to leave your player suggestions for me in the comments section. I do read absolutely every single comment that's left for me so if you do leave me a comment it will be seen and we may just cover that player next. Right though so I've now seen through the first season, Karamoko's off to find himself a new club, let's see where he ends up. Right then, so we've simulated another 12 months into the future and it seems like he's taken a gap year. It's all good though, let's him for another season and hopefully this time he will actually join somebody. It's going to be a great video, isn't it, if he just remains a free agent for 14 seasons? Okay, so he has actually joined a club now and this is actually quite an interesting move for him. So the way that I'm going to be doing this is to become the manager of another Premier League team so that we can check out his stats each season. I'm not going to be managing the club that he's at and manipulating his progress. I'm just going to follow his development season by season and if at any point he moves to another league, then we'll move to that new league with him. And as he's gone to West Ham, we're also going to take control of a mid-table Premier League side. And you know what, this move is actually better than I first thought. West Ham came 7th in this third season, they were 12 points behind Arsenal, but still, 7th in the league is nothing to be ashamed of, and yeah, this is looking like a pretty good move for him. He made no appearances in the league, also didn't play at all in the FA Cup, and they couldn't find a place for him in the Carabao Cup either, but he's still only 20 years old, and in my opinion, this is a pretty good move for him. Let's send forward to the end of the next season though, and let's see if he's getting any game time. 16 Premier League appearances for him in the next season, that's pretty solid. They did finish 17th this time though, so not quite as successful as they were in the previous season. Did make it to the quarterfinals of the FA Cup though, where they lost to Coventry City on penalties, and in the Carabao Cup they were knocked out by Manchester United. Dembele wasn't part of that Carabao Cup team though, so that's fine. He did make two appearances in the FA Cup though, so let's just hope that he wasn't one of those players that missed a penalty against Coventry. He's still only 21 years old, he's up to a 74 rating now, and he's developing very nicely. Let's sim forward another season then, and let's see what he gets up to in Season 5. He's gone up to a 75 overall now, so that's pretty good to see. Scored 2 goals in 12 Premier League appearances, and helped West Ham to a 13th place finish in the process. Decent. They lost 4-1 to Wolves in the 4th round of the FA Cup though. Lost to Liverpool on penalties in the Carabao Cup. Again though, he's not appeared for them at all in the Carabao Cup, and in the FA Cup he only made the one appearance. Still though, 13th in the Premier League, 12 games played, 2 goals scored, not too bad at all. He's still young, he's still got plenty to offer. Let's sim for another season, and let's see where he goes from here. Right then, so he's up to a 77 rating now, he's improving every season, and... He's looking pretty good. He has just been relegated with West Ham though, so that definitely could have gone a bit better. And he only made 10 Premier League appearances this time. He was behind this guy in the pecking order, who only scored one goal and provided one assist in 29 appearances. That said though, it was one goal and one assist more than Dembele provided. He didn't get any game time whatsoever in the FA Cup, and he also didn't play at all in the Carabao Cup. So on the plus side, he doesn't have to take any responsibility for them getting knocked out by Bristol City. Let's fast forward another year though, and let's see how he gets on in the Championship. I guess we'll never find out how he would have performed in the Championship because he moved to Ajax for 23.7 million. He's up to a 78 rating now at the age of 24, and he's moved over to a team with a very rich history of developing young talent. They came second in the league, so unfortunately no silverware for him in his first season. Eliminated from the cup in the quarterfinals, and in the Champions League they unfortunately finished bottom of their group. 
He didn't play at all in the Champions League though. He also didn't appear at all in the Cup. And in the league, he was limited to just three appearances. Still though, it's not the worst move in the world for him. He's playing at a club with a very rich history. He's got a chance of playing in the Champions League. And like I said before, they're very good at developing young talent. So yeah, it could be a very good career move for him. Anyway though, let's sim for another season and let's see what he gets up to this time. Ajax finished 20 points off the top this time, so that's definitely not ideal. They also got knocked out in the very first round of the cup and only picked up two points in their Europa League group, so all in all, it was definitely a season to forget. Karamoko's up to a 79 rating now, though, at the age of 25. He's still developing very nicely, and although it's not been the best season in the world for Ajax, it could be worse. He could still be playing in England in the Championship, and instead, he's playing for a team that, although haven't had a very good season, do still have a chance of picking up some silverware, so... Yeah, things could definitely be going a lot worse. He provided one assist in 15 appearances in the league, made one appearance in the cup, which is the most that could have been asked given that they got eliminated in round one, and he also got to play two games in the Europa League, so like I said before, it definitely could have been a lot worse. And speaking of things getting worse, in the very next season, Ajax finished 13th in the table. They did make it to the quarterfinals of the cup this time though. And in the Europa League, they picked up seven points. So that's definitely a little bit better than they did in the previous season. He scored one goal in 10 appearances in the league. Didn't play at all in the cup. And over in the Europa League, he made two appearances. So he's now up to an 81 rating at the age of 26. He's developing very nicely still. Unfortunately though, since he's been at Ajax, he hasn't won any silverware whatsoever. And in this season, they came 13th. So... Room for improvement, let's get into the next season, and let's see what happens. I guess he's not going to win anything in the Netherlands then, it's the year 2030, and Karamoko Dembele has just signed for Atletico Madrid for 51.6 million. He's up to an 82 rating now, and I'm not going to lie, that kit looks pretty good on him. Not that he's wearing it much, mind you, he's only made six appearances this season, although he did only just join the club in January. And he's scored a goal in the Champions League for them already, so... Yeah, bossing it. Didn't play at all in the Copa del Rey though, and that's a bit of a shame because Atletico Madrid did actually go on to win it. And it was incredibly tight at the top of the table. Real Madrid won the league, but Atletico Madrid were only five points behind them in fifth. They also reached the quarterfinal stage of the Champions League, and like I said before, Karamoko did actually score a goal, so... Yeah, fair play. Let's sim through another season now then, and let's see if Karamoko Dembele can finally win some silverware in this simulation. Four points off the league title this time, he's getting closer. And Atletico Madrid did win the Spanish Super Cup. Did he play a part in it though? Yes, he did. He made two appearances and he even scored two goals in the process. Silverware is officially secured. No Copa del Rey glory this time though, they got knocked out in the round of 16 stage by Real Sociedad this time. And in the Europa League, they were knocked out by Wolves at the quarterfinal stage. 28 years old now then, 82 rated, and he's finally won himself some silverware in this simulation. He's won the Spanish Super Cup, and I'm sure he'll be absolutely delighted. Not as pleased as he will be with this one though, in the year 2032, Atletico Madrid have won La Liga. 85 points, 4 points ahead of Barcelona. They've also won the Spanish Super Cup again. Couldn't quite complete a domestic treble though, unfortunately. They've lost to Real Madrid on penalties in the Copa del Rey final. And they've also lost to Real Madrid on penalties in the Champions League final too. That one's got a sting. Karamoko only played five games in the league this time, so he's fallen back a bit in the pecking order. He's not played at all in the Super Cup. Only made one appearance in the Copa del Rey. Did score a goal though. And in the Champions League, he made two appearances and provided one assist. And it's not really looking all that great for Karamoko at this point. He's 29 years old. He's clearly not in favour in Spain and... Yeah, at the age of 29, he's not really established himself as a first-team regular at any club that he's been at. He has had some high-profile transfer moves, though, and I don't think he's really going to look back and complain at a career that's taken him from Celtic to West Ham to Ajax and now to Atletico Madrid. He's won silverware, and it's not over just yet either. In the January transfer window in Season 13, he's moved from Atletico Madrid to PSG for £31.4 million. He's 30 years old now, and he's just finished second with PSG, one point behind Monaco. When I took this job on, Monaco were about fifth or sixth in the league, I think. But yeah, they had a much better second half of the season. They've just pipped PSG to the title, and 
yeah, I'm slightly disappointed to be honest because it would have been nice to see Karamoko Dembele win his first title with PSG. They got knocked out in the round of 32 in the Coupe Nationale, whilst in the Champions League they got knocked out by Real Madrid in the round of 16. Dembele played five games in the league, didn't play at all in the cup and in fact I don't think he was even at the club when they got knocked out and he also didn't play at all in the Champions League. He is valued at 30 and a half million though, he's on 86 grand a week and life could definitely be a lot worse. Let's get into season 14 anyway though and let's see what's next for him. A 5th place finish apparently. Not quite what I was expecting. They did win this though which appears to be the French equivalent of the Community Shield. Got eliminated from the cup in the round of 32 again and lost 5-2 on aggregate to Wolves in the Champions League. Karamoko made 10 league appearances this time scoring one goal in the process. He also won some more silverware which is good to see, didn't play at all in the cup and also made 2 appearances in the Champions League. And in this 15th and final season he's done the domestic double, he's finally won the league title with PSG and he's won the cup with them too. Or at least he would have done but instead of doing that he joined Leeds United in the January transfer window. So instead of winning a domestic double he was playing for a Leeds United team that finished 14th in the Premier League and he made no appearances whatsoever. Brilliant. Anyway though, so that's been FIFA's prediction of what lies ahead for Karamoko Dembele. In the background you'll be able to see the way that his rating and value went up from season to season. And looking back on how things played out, it's definitely been a pretty interesting one. I don't think he ever made more than about 20 appearances in a season, but he has been a very decent squad player, won trophies, played in Europe, including for a team that reached the Champions League final, and all in all, it's been a very interesting one to watch how his career's played out in FIFA 21 career mode. Do let me know in the comments section if you'd like to see more of these in the future, stick around and subscribe if you're keen to see more, and if you've made it this far into the video then quite honestly you are an absolute legend. So thanks for watching, have an awesome day, and if you are now subscribed then I'll catch you again next time.